And remember also that Mexican bud exported to the US accounted for 60% of the Sinaloa cartel's revenue, 60%. So as the years went on and more and more pot became legal in the States, these guys were losing a lot of money, like over half their business. And as consequence, a lot of these smaller cartels completely went under because they just didn't have the financial resources to recoup the money they lost from the pot. That actually ironically helped Sinaloa get stronger because they ended up absorbing these smaller cartels on the border. But still, they lost almost 60% of their money just from weed becoming legal in the States. Now they still export some of it, but the revenues are razor thin, like I said. 